In the military, we have to prepare our people for their next job because we know they're going to leave us in two to three years. And in fact, if you send someone on to another command and they should know things and they don't, those people are going to call you back and say, why didn't you train this person better? And yet in the civilian world, some leaders are afraid to train their people because they're afraid if I train this person, if I invest in their professional development, they could, well, leave me. So we have two answers for that. First, if they leave you, good for them. Congratulate them on finding another great opportunity. And if they're leaving you because your work environment isn't what it should be, then maybe we could work on that. There's a lot being said about mentoring. We think that's a pretty big word with a lot of responsibility. But it doesn't have to be. Some of the most successful mentors I know are people who invite you to become part of their lives. That if you have a passion, they're invited to be part of your passion. And by sharing your passion, you're sharing with them your values and your positions in life. Have you ever heard the expression, don't let them see you sweat? Well, trust me when I tell you, your teams know when you're sweating. They're watching you. They're taking their cues from you. So how cool would it be if you walk in and say, look at this, check this out, I'm sweating. Most teams actually want great results. And when I say teams, I mean companies, I mean organizations, I mean associations. I'm talking about divisions, I'm talking about departments, I'm talking about groups of people that have the same mission and they have the same goals. Are you ready to think differently and perform at a higher level? Yeah. Are you ready to increase your productivity? Are you ready to increase your profitability? How about increasing those sales? And how about increasing your in total success factor? Yeah, we would like that, we would love that. Well, today we're gonna to talk about doing that, but we're just not gonna do it with energy. We're gonna do it with a momentum. And past that momentum, I'm gonna throw in, oh, just a little bit of horsepower. 15 years ago, if someone in business said, that person's really green, that meant that they were like a greenhorn. They were like fresh green grass. They were young and inexperienced, may not know very much about their field yet. Now, if people refer to a company as being green, then that means they're ecologically responsible, they're big thinkers, they care about the planet. It has a lot of totally different, but yet positive associations. So now people want to be green in business. Because we understand the people that we talk with, their framework, the responses they may provide for us. Now think about when we're calling somebody we don't know, or maybe we're calling a vendor who hasn't met their delivery dates, or a customer who's not happy. A little part of our brain is telling us, be careful. Whirlpool. A leader in innovation. They started out and they appointed 75 ambassadors of innovation. And those folks went around and were blocked and stopped because people said, that's too risky, that's too much, we can't do that, oh no. So leadership said, hey, we need to take a step back. Another thing that you want to do when you're at home is set up a good daily exercise and activity pattern. Why? Because our central nervous systems, which are our brain and spinal cord, love physical activity. 